All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. We're going to do a NHL overreactions video. We're about, say, a little a more than a quarter through yeah. the season. Uh, we're taking a look at some of the standings, some of the teams, have some conversations about whether they are, you know, done for or who's going to make a comeback, who might, you know, end up falling off. So um, I jotted down some notes from some preseason predictions and rankings that we saw uh, or we have notes on. And uh, kind of one of the first things that really kind of stuck out for me was, you know, this bottom division over here with the uh, Western Pacific. I know you talked about it a little bit of the Calgary Flame and now the Anaheim Ducks currently leading the division as of today, you know, December 9th. Both of these teams in the preseason rankings, the Ducks were ranked 30th of the 32 teams mm. and the Flames were ranked 26th of the 32 teams. So, both of these guys right now having obviously a way better season than anybody projected. And, um, you know, for me, I'm going to say they both make the playoffs. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree with you on this one. I think they will. There might be a little bit of a switch with maybe Edmonton coming up and Vegas possibly taking up to the first. But Vegas, yeah, Vegas is sitting technically right now in the first seat of the wild card on that side. Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting. There's not much looking at the teams below them and how they're performing right now. And I know, like, the overreaction doesn't seem like there's much threat right now. Like, it seems kind of like it's it's Calgary and Anaheim's, like, it's yeah, theirs to lose. To lose. Yeah, yeah, it's theirs to lose and give away. Um, uh, you know, Seattle being just fucking horrible over there after <laughs> yeah. their inaugural season. Yeah. Um, kind of disappointed on that. They didn't, definitely didn't follow the Vegas Golden Knights with the, uh, you know, making it to the finals. In their, yeah, in their first their inaugural season. season. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm excited to see Calgary up there, though. Anaheim, too. Anaheim's got a lot of a lot of fans for this Calgary, so it's kind of cool to see them showing some hope, giving a little bit of a little bit of glimmer in the hopes of the fans' eyes on this this Christmas season right now. I wonder if, like, if you're a fan of one of these teams, obviously leave it in the comments if you are, but, like, are you just like, okay, guys, let's not blow this. Like, we can, <laughs> we can do this. Yeah. We can do this. Like, yeah. we're here. We can do this. But, I mean, I, that's kind of the first uh, thing that I pointed out. And I'm going to kind of make a wild projection. I don't know if it's technically wild because they're kind of still in it. But I like the Winnipeg Jets to make the playoffs, even though they're, you know, two spots out or three spots out right now on that Western Conference side. I'm, I'm going to take a uh, – could be an overreaction. Yeah, could be, there. yeah it could be just a, a tossing it out there. Tell me if I'm crazy, NHL fans, if you think I'm crazy. But I'm going to take the Winnipeg Jets to make the playoffs – as of uh, December 9th here. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're that that Good far off there. Um, they've got it's it's a tough. I mean, it's a tough area. In the way. I mean, you got Minnesota, you got Colorado, you got St. Louis, Nashville, Dallas is ter currently ahead of them. I know Blackhawk fans are really loyal, but I don't, I don't I don't guess I don't know where the Blackhawks were projected to go. But I'm gonna. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm, I'm gonna take Nashville falling out of the playoff right Okay, now. okay. I'm gonna take Nashville falling off. Even though they've been they've been pretty hot the last, they, last couple of years. They've been able to make it the last couple of yeah. years, but you well, know, the, was it last year or the year before they were in, they were in the Cup Finals? Was it last year or the year before? That's three years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. That oh, was, was a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they still had. Um, no, never mind. Wrong guy. Got confused there for a second. Um, but yeah, um, it's interesting to see. It's always good to see when you like when you have new teams come in that you don't always just have the same the same, people, the same right. you know Stanley Cup bracket at the end of the day. Uh, so it's interesting to see Calgary up there. I really do hope they get through there. Um, it, I also I don't know, man. I got a lot of hope in uh, Colorado the Avalanche this year. I think they're going to be a, the team to beat. I think they're going to be a strong team to beat, um, especially out of the Western Conference. The Eastern is obviously going to be Tampa, Toronto, the Caps. Like take your Take your pick of the, the top three up there. Four the Panthers right now. How about Florida being up there? Yeah, yeah. That's, in, that's interesting. Um, I mean, they've got a great team they put together, a great season to put together. You know, them being tied for first half in the league with 38 points is just unreal. Like, oh, yeah, four they almost, in the season? Yeah, they have as many overtime games yeah. as they have losses. losses. Yeah, which is just I mean, you got to be feeling good about yourself. Yeah, exactly. Time exactly. Time that, like, well, especially when you got Toronto and Tampa in that same area. That yeah, area, that's yeah. Area. So it's going to be interesting. But, but, I mean, you look at, like, you look at their splits, 14-1 and one at home, 3-3-4 three, three, and four away. You know, I mean. Yeah, so they, definitely the away games is where they're going. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So. Hopefully they can figure that home out. Home field advantage. That home field advantage is a thing. Yeah. But, 
I, it's because uh, it, it's, it's, in, it's in Florida, it's a little bit warmer, so the ice is a little bit softer. Yeah. They, yeah. Know, they know how to play on that soft <laughs> ice. <laughs> I, um, oh man, the next thing I wrote down I thought was pretty wild. I, I mean, I don't know that it's wild, but when you look at the preseason projections, the Islanders and Flyers, right? Both of them in the Metropolitan, which is, don't get me wrong, we talked about this earlier in the season, right. the Metropolitan is clearly the toughest division in hockey. But both of them were slated, I mean, the, the Islanders were slated by some projections to literally win the Metropolitan, and the Flyers were supposed to make a wild card appearance. Islanders are freaking 6, 10, and 5, and Flyers are 8, 12, and 4 at the bottom. Yeah, bring I don't, the rear of the, that back there. I don't know that this is an overreaction, but I'm going to say they're done for. There's no chance either one of these teams make the playoffs with three yeah. quarters of the season. Yeah, I think they're done. Um, I, I know there's a lot of hockey to play, but I'm calling it today they're done for. There's no way they're making it. Well, especially yeah. with the way Washington's playing and, and the and the Rangers playing too. I mean, yeah, the Rangers kind of were a little bit surprising to me. Like I expect them to be up there, um, but like I think what really more surprising is like what Chris said, like the falling out of the Flyers. Right. And, like I mean, the Islanders were in like, the playoffs last year. I mean, yeah. did, did they beat Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh beat them? Oh no, they beat Pittsburgh. Yeah, they yeah. beat Pittsburgh. They went what yeah. two rounds? Yeah, they they were there, and um, it's kind of surprising. Not surprised to see the Caps leading. The freaking Metropolitan. Ovi's on, I think. I don't know. I hope it's his retirement tour. I, <laughs> I hope this is the. Uh, <laughs> I, this is like he, I hope he told the team he's done and they're playing like lights out because they know this is his last season. But. Well, how old is he now? Is he, I mean, is he that old? Though? I mean, uh, he's got to at least be like 85 or something 85. like that. He's <laughs> Russian, though, you know? <laughs> they, never, they never go away. No. no. Yeah. It's all that potato vodka and everything he's got going on, man. It's like Ivan um, Drago. He's just going to keep coming. Yeah. And he's great. Uh, yeah, you know, great fucking hockey player. He's going to go down as one of the best. Um, he's 36. So as, um... Jeez, I didn't realize he was that old. A Crosby thing. He doesn't wear 36 well. It's, uh... It's a rough looking third. Well, I don't think this is a yeah. sport you look good at. <laughs> no, 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 no. After your most first like two them. seasons in there, you're yeah. not you're not looking pretty good. Most, yeah. most of them have fake teeth at that point. So, yeah. um, the only one that like, it's like people like uh, Chris Letang, the Fisher for the Penguins. He's a little bit older, but he's got like that Dingsby Swanson look, like the dark hair with the fl- like very much like a dark haired pretty boy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still got it going on. Yeah, and of course Crosby's. The, everybody calls him the little. The kid, the little kid. Pretty, the pretty boy kid. Yeah, yeah he's probably thirty. He's got to be old now too. Yeah, thirty one. Yeah, he, they drafted him in, I think two thousand or two thousand one. I can't remember off the head exactly. I mean, he's been playing for. He's been playing for twenty time. seasons. Man, yeah. I mean, he might be as old as the. No, it was two thousand four. Yeah, yeah two thousand four. I'd say, man, that's a long. Yeah, that's two thousand four. He'd be in his forties at that point. Yeah. Well, I guess he's probably sixteen when they drafted him or seventeen. Yeah, I'd say eight, seventeen, eighteen. Let's see. He is 30, 34. 34. Okay, and it was 2005. I was wrong. It was 2005. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not far off. You came back and said 2004. Yeah. So. But, wow. I mean, freaking there. Um, I think Pittsburgh's going to... Make the playoffs? I think they're just going to hold on to the yeah. fucking wild card spot. They'll probably probably jump up, maybe, and like flip the three. hurricanes, yeah. but then like fall back down. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, getting, progresses, they're getting a little bit better now that the whole roster's just back to healthy. Like, it was just... Yeah. It was horrible for the start of the season for them, but they're kind of getting their groove, getting getting their, their skates underneath them, and I think I don't know. I hope they continue on, but I think they'll jump up in there, but then kind of fall back down you know, later in the season. Yeah. All right. So I got two more hot takes right here. Right, two more. Right. Two more. Maybe overreactions. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna start with Boston. No playoffs for the Boston Bruins. I'm sorry, Boston fans, but. I, I got a feeling, and this is crazy. I know the Detroit Red Wings are not supposed to be that good, and they're ahead of Boston right now. But I got a feeling something's going to happen here, and Boston's going to fall out, and they're just going to miss those top four in that Atlantic Division uh, and, and end up falling out of it. So I know they were projected to finish second or third in the Atlantic this season. So where they're sitting right now in fifth, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the hot take. I'm gonna say Boston doesn't make the playoffs. I can see that. You're and then fi- final one. Final one, and it's not too far off right now, just from where we are over the season, but I'm going to take it. Montreal, who made the playoffs, made the run last year, uh, you know, the miracle run we were talking about. The Canadians right now, worse than the Atlantic, I'm taking them to finish with the worst record in all of hockey. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you they're going to be, they're going to be dead last. I mean, yeah. I, I know right now there's six some bad teams. Right the Islanders got six wins. Arizona's only got five, and, and Seattle's got nine. Kraken's got nine, though. Yeah, Crack, I mean, Kraken's not even the worst team in hockey. But I'm, I'm going to take it right now. Montreal Canadiens. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, you should have enjoyed last year while you had it. They're going to finish worse <laughs> in the NHL. So. Yeah, that's going to be a hell of a swing for them. God, I mean, that's oh, so bad. Yeah. I'll go ahead and say I think Toronto, Colorado, Stanley Cup Finals. Ooh, I like Toronto to win it. That's what That yeah. was going to be my final take, was going to be that the Maple Leafs end up winning the Cup, where we're sitting right here on December 9th, but... Yeah. yeah, I say I say Toronto versus Colorado, Toronto on top. Okay, yeah. so we're both taking Toronto. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Maple Leafs. I'm sorry, it's not happening, guys. <laughs> we're both calling it. it I'll take I'll, I'll take Tampa and put in Colorado. Okay, okay. okay. We're like gonna that. stick with the Lightning. Let's stick with the Lightning. I mean, they ride, ride the hot hand. Baby. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why they're not hot hand. Hand. if they're yeah. winning, they're winning. They're winning, they're winning yeah. everything. <laughs> They 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 prove proving everybody wrong every year. So why not? I mean, they, they, they know how to do it. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> they keep blowing okay. people away, especially yeah. when they get to the playoffs. I mean, they just blow through people. So yeah, what was it? Four years ago, they were they won the most games and then lost in the first round in that wild year. Where yeah, it was the years of us in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. them so, in Pittsburgh. I guess yeah. that's four or five years ago now. Yeah. So all right, well that's our uh, NHL overreactions for December. Let us know what you think. Leave the comments if you think we're crazy. It's fine. Let us know. Yeah, um, we probably are. If, if, yeah, we probably are. If you got a hot take, leave it with us. As always, like, comment, subscribe. If you subscribe. want us to do a little video on your team or something, let us know. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll break it down for you. We'll yeah, give you our toss, opinions. Toss us so, a line. Yeah, but uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to share the stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.